Thank you for choosing our product. And welcome to our installation video for Membrane Solutions T2P Water Filtration System. Here is an overview diagram showing the T2P installation connections under a sink. To install the whole system, you will have to follow all the steps below. First, we are going to talk about Quick Connect Plumbing Fitting. Then, we will help you prepare your RO faucet, wastewater saddle valve, feed water adapter valve, and water pressure tank. After placing the RO membrane and filter cartridges in their housing correctly, you are ready to connect the system. Cold Water Pressure Check Before you begin installation, confirm your cold water pressure is between 40 to 80 PSI using a pressure gauge. If lower than 40 PSI, a booster pump may be required. If over 80 PSI, a pressure reducing valve is required. Now, open the T2P box and check all the components that are present. Please refer to the instructions for details. Please contact the vendor if any parts are missing before starting the installation. The following tools are required to install the T2P. Quick Connect Plumbing Fitting. When cutting the PE tube, use pipe cutters or a sharp knife, making sure you get a clean, square cut. To make sure the tube has been inserted into the connection correctly, and to avoid any leaks, make a pen mark 5 8 inch up from each end. That way you can tell if you inserted the tube fully into the quick connect fittings. To remove the tube, remove the locking clip and hold down the collar against the fitting and pull the tube in the opposite direction to release the grip. RO Faucet The stainless steel faucet requires a mounting hole around the sink. One. If there are additional mounting holes already available in your sink, remove the cover and use the hole to install the faucet. 2. If there are no additional mounting holes available, use an electric drill with half-inch drill bit and create a new mounting hole. Before inserting the faucet assembly into the sink mounting hole, fit the faucet base gasket over the valve stem and place assembly through the hole. You can now install the lock nut onto the faucet stem thread under the sink and tighten it firmly. Install the Quick Connect Straight Adapter to the faucet stem. Make sure the sink faucet feels secure and will not twist during use. Waste Water Saddle Valve Find a suitable point to install the drain saddle valve and drill a quarter inch hole in the sink drain pipe. Using the supplied double-sided foam tape, remove the protective film and stick it on the saddle valve's inside groove. Using the quarter-inch drill bit, insert it through the drain saddle valve assembly to align the hole you drilled in the pipe. Then place this part onto the drain pipe over the hole. Attach the back of the drain saddle valve onto the drain pipe. Then tighten the bracket evenly using the fixings and remove the drill bit guide. Feed Water Adapter Valve Cold water shutoff valve to the faucet is used to isolate the water supply. Before we start, turn off the cold water shutoff valve to the faucet. Open the cold water sink faucet to release the pressure. Turn off after the pressure release is completed. The existing tubing on the cold water shutoff valve feeds the faucet. Now loosen it with a wrench. Remove the end of the tube or pipe. Please do not connect this system to the hot water valve or you will damage the RO. Now, remove the blue locking clip from the feed water adapter valve. Then attach it to the cold water valve and then tighten with a wrench. Now connect the existing tubing and tighten. Water pressure tank. Place the tank into position on the stand under the sink. Pressure Tank Isolation Ball Valve Installation Remove the protective cover from the pressure tank connection. Fit the tank ball valve and hand tighten onto the thread. Do not over tighten. It does not need to be very tight to obtain a watertight seal. RO Membrane Remove the blue locking tube clip from the RO housing end cap and disconnect the PE tube.
unscrew the housing cap using the RO housing wrench. Place the new RO membrane into the housing. Two small O-rings first. The large black chevron seal should be closest to the housing opening. Push the RO membrane fully into the housing and check the O-ring inside the housing cap is in place. Before reassembly, tighten the end cap using the RO housing wrench. Reconnect the PE tubing and secure with a blue tube clip to the RO housing cap. Filter cartridges. Install the PP filter in the right-hand filter bowl either way around after removing all the packaging. Next, be very careful when installing the GAC filter into the center position bowl that is the correct way around and all packaging is removed. Once all filter bowls are in place, apply the black sealing gasket upwards towards the filter bowl opening and screw the bowl into place. Finally, fit and unpackage the CTO filter either way around into the left-hand filter bowl and hand tighten. Now, screw all three against the filter head and tighten with the filter bowl wrench. Plumbing the system components together. First, pull out the red plug and insert the red PE tube. Lock it with the blue locking clip. Insert the other side of the red tube into the feed water adapter valve and lock it with the blue locking clip. Next, pull out the yellow plug and insert the yellow PE tube. Lock it with the blue locking clip. Now insert the other side of the yellow tube into the pressure tank ball valve and lock it with the blue locking clip. Then pull out the white plug and insert the white PE tube. Lock it with the blue locking clip. Now insert the other side of the white tube into the faucet end and lock it with the blue locking clip. In the end, pull out the black plug and insert the black PE tube. Lock it with the blue locking clip. Now insert the other side of the black tube into the wastewater saddle valve and lock it with the blue locking clip. Congratulations! You have completed the installation. The next stage is to commission and flush the system ready for use. Ensure the manual flush valve on the T2P central unit is closed. Close the pressure tank ball valve. Turn on the cold water shutoff valve and the feed water adapter. Open the faucet and allow the water to run to drain to rinse all components. During this time, review all connections and make sure there are no water leaks. After 10 minutes, close the sink faucet. Open the ball valve on top of the pressure tank and allow the tank to fill for at least two hours. After two hours, open the sink faucet and allow the water from the pressure tank to drain. After a few minutes, the water from the faucet will get noticeably less. Now close the sink faucet and allow the pressure tank to refill again for at least two hours. After two hours, open the sink faucet and allow the pressure tank to drain once again. After a few minutes, the water from the faucet will get noticeably less. Close the sink faucet and allow the pressure tank to refill for at least one hour. The water purifier has now been rinsed and is safe for use. Enjoy the fresh, clean taste of healthy purified water from Membrane Solutions T2P Water Filtration System.